Practice Test 4, page 116, section 2, repeat sentence. You will hear some sentences. Please repeat each sentence exactly as you hear it. You will hear each sentence only once. You are not permitted to take reference books out of the library. The seminar will now take place a week on Tuesday. You don't have to be on Professor Smith's course to attend this lecture. The library will be closed for three days over the bank holiday weekend. I think we should get together over the weekend to discuss this assignment. There's an hourly bus service from the campus into town. This is the third time you've asked for an extension on this project. They say Professor Jones's lectures are always interesting and funny. Being a student representative on the union really cuts into my study time. I've got a tutorial in an hour and I haven't had any time to prepare for it.
Practice Test 4, page 121, section 2. Retell lecture. You will hear a lecture. After listening to the lecture, please retell what you have just heard from the lecture in your own words. You will have 40 seconds to give your response. Lecture A. Machiavelli lived from 1469 to 1527. The philosopher Bertrand Russell referred to Machiavelli's most well-known book, The Prince, as a gangster's handbook. And while there's no doubt that certain people have read and used it as such, I think that if we put it into the context of when it was written, which was Italy, especially Florence, in the 15th and 16th centuries, it will be easier to judge Machiavelli's reasons for writing it. Now, the Italy of that period was made up of a number of city-states, often at war with each other. Add to that threats from foreign powers, especially France, and it was a very unstable and dangerous situation. Machiavelli loved his home city, Florence, and wanted to protect its culture, history and, above all, independence at all costs. One way to do this was to establish an army of Florentines loyal to the city-state of Florence. Much of Machiavelli's career was taken up with this issue. It must be remembered, though, that he led an active civic life, was deeply into politics and was an ambassador for Florence. In this way, he got to meet and observe some of the key players of the time and, through this, came to understand the nature of power and how to hold on to it. The prince was an attempt to teach Florence the lessons he had learnt. Lecture B There was a time when the subject of happiness was the business of philosophers as part of their discussion of what makes for the good life. Then, much later, psychologists and sociologists got in on the act, and now, it seems, so has the government. I understand that governments should have the welfare and well-being of those it governs at heart from the purely practical point of view of keeping people quiet, at home enjoying their gadgets and comfort, rather than on the streets rioting. But surely it's not something you can legislate for. Today, there are numerous journals on the topic, and it is even included in the curriculum at some universities and colleges. Surveys are done, statistics compiled, graphs drawn, yet all they seem to prove is what most people have concluded themselves from personal experience. An obvious example would be that having a lot of money doesn't necessarily make you happy. We all wish to be happy and have ideas about what it is we think would make us so but we also know, or suspect, that it's not that easy. Most of us learn that it is a by-product of something else, usually being totally absorbed or involved in some task or pastime, and can only be reached that way. These activities, of course, must be worthwhile in themselves. Lecture C. We have briefly looked at some of the problems involved in running a biggish city, like, say, Melbourne. Keeping the road and rail systems running, policing, providing food and housing, and so on. In another lecture, I'm going to deal with what we must now call the megalopolis, cities with populations of 10 million or more. However, first I want to go back in history to when the population of cities could be numbered in the thousands rather than the millions. One of the earliest theorists of the city was, of course, Plato, who created an ideal city in his text, The Republic. The population of this city would be around 25 to 30,000 at most. Oddly enough, the same figures were chosen by Leonardo da Vinci for his ideal cities. Now, of these 25 to 30,000 inhabitants, only about 5,000 would be citizens. A reason for this might be that it is the largest number that could be addressed publicly at one time and by one person. 
and makes a voting system much easier to manage. Also, perhaps the numbers are kept deliberately low because a large population would be harder to control, or because, in practical terms, fewer inhabitants are easier to feed from local supplies without having to depend on outside sources. Practice test 4, page 121, section 2. Answer short question. You will hear some questions. Please give a simple and short answer to each one. Often just one or a few words is enough. A famous canal links the Mediterranean Sea with the Indian Ocean. Is it the Corinth or the Suez Canal? Where would you store meat you wish to keep frozen at home? What is the most important document you would have to show if you wanted to hire a car? Where would you go to work out on a treadmill? What piece of equipment would you use to go diving in the sea? An aqualung or an aquaplane? Where would you most likely go to buy some flour? A bakery, a florist, or a supermarket? Which hospital department would you go to for an x-ray? Radiology or cardiology? Where would you go to see an exhibition of sculpture? Would you measure the volume of bottled water in litres or kilos? What's the joint called where your hand is connected to your arm?
Practice Test 4, page 118, section 2. Describe image. Model answers. Image A. This shows the various means that can be used to prevent unwanted material on computers and the percentage of people who use them. By far the most common method used, by about 23% of people, was putting blocks or filters on their email accounts. About 19% did the same for their internet browser or search engine, while about 10% use passwords. Other methods favored by less than 10% include never giving out personal details and either monitoring children's use of the internet or putting locks on certain sites. Image B. This graph shows the pump price for unleaded petrol and diesel in the UK from 1999 until 2008. The first thing to notice is that the line for diesel is always higher than for premium unleaded, which means it's generally more expensive. The other thing to notice is that the price for both fuels roughly doubled from 1999 to 2008, going from about 62 or 63 pence a litre to more than 120 pence a litre in the case of diesel. Prices for both seemed to peak in 2008, but fell dramatically later that same year, diesel ending on a price of 100 pence per litre and petrol on a price of about 90 pence per litre. Image C The picture shows a number of wooden houses on the bank of a river or lake, at first I thought no one could live there because the houses don't look very sturdy, but then I noticed the clothes hanging out to dry. Obviously the people who live there must be quite poor. There are boats in the picture which might be used for fishing or for transport. The trees look a bit like palm trees, so maybe this is somewhere tropical. Image D this pie chart illustrates the various means of transport people who live outside the city use to get to work by percentage. The largest number of commuters, just over 30%, use the train, while 27% travel by car. Surprisingly, very few people use only the bus or the underground, so most bus and underground users must be included in the 29% who use more than one form of transport to get to work. Image E. This graph shows projected sales of soft drinks for the Morgan Drinks Company in millions per year from 2018 to 2024. The graph shows that the company expects to sell 20 million bottles of still water in 2018, rising to over 30 million by 2024. Fizzy water, on the other hand, will increase from 30 million bottles to about 38 million bottles in 2020 and then fall gradually. Sales of fruit drinks will remain stable at around 45 million bottles a year. Image F The map shows which parts of the world are most densely forested and shows two types of forest evergreen, and deciduous. The most densely forested area is in South America. At about the same latitude, there are thick forests in parts of Africa. I imagine in both these cases, they are tropical rainforests. Central America and the northern parts of Canada are also densely forested, as are the northern parts of Europe and Asia, from Scandinavia and across Siberia to Mongolia. In the east, Parts of China and Indonesia show the most forested areas. Practice Test 4, page 121, section 2, Retail Lecture. Model Answers Lecture A This lecture is about Machiavelli and his book The Prince, 
and how he got a bad reputation as a ruthless man who will do anything to get what he wants. The lecturer's aim is to try and persuade us to look at the book in its historical context to see why he wrote it and to show that his reputation is undeserved. Machiavelli loved his hometown, Florence, and was prepared to do anything to protect it. At the time, it was threatened by several enemies, so only harsh measures would do. Lecture B The lecturer talks about the subject of happiness and how, although it was once mainly the concern of philosophers, it has now become an academic subject and a concern of governments who try to incorporate it into policy. The speaker is a bit cynical about how the theories about happiness have been presented by non-philosophers and how the conclusions they come to are mostly obvious to the average person. Lecture C After a brief mention of the megalopolis, the lecturer focuses on the small city-state, particularly ideal cities like those imagined by Plato and da Vinci. He puts forward possible reasons why the number of citizens was limited to about 5,000, suggesting that small numbers made voting easier and were easier to feed on food produced locally instead of having to import it.